Hello everybody. Uh, today I'll be talking about how to use uh, Shadowbox Video Viewer on a website so that when you actually go, you will be able to see something uh, similar to this. This actually took me a while to figure out, but I finally figured it out. So I figured I share with some people. Uh, if you're using Joomla or any other like um, database program that allows you to uh, design websites, uh, this can really help. This is my website, Future Teaching Physicians. And on our site, uh, we wanted to make sample lecture videos. As you can see, these little thumbnails over here, uh, they actually look clickable. As you can see, if you put a mouse over it, and if I click on one of them, all of a sudden, here comes the shadow box with the recording of the video. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? It's Adelike again. I'm back. So, how do you get this done? Um, that's what I'm. That's the point of this video today. So let's start. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google and type "shadow box viewer" media viewer, and that will take you to this link right here. The first one, if you click on it, it takes you to their website, and it, this is a free extension, especially for anyone who is using the extension based. Uh, Web browsers or uh, web uh, uh, web software for um, for websites. So all you have to do is basically click on download, and I already did this already. And uh, you get to get a couple options. Um, I'll say you check on external sites, inline, Flash, Flash Video, QuickTime, Windows Media Player, because you can do a lot with this um, with this. Uh, program once you get it installed on your site and you can click on download and all of a sudden you get this file shadowbox 3.03 uh, another way you can also do this is to go to type in Joomla extension and it takes you straight direct to the extension link and this is where you actually get to click on download and that's the shadow box media viewer it's already been pre-made you don't have to click on all these extra links and once you click on download you get this plugin and it's pretty much the same thing um, you see plugin shadow box and this is what you get to install and how you install this you go to your back end of your Joomla you log in and you go to extensions you click on install you browse and then you pick uh, where you downloaded it, which will be a plugin, and which I already did. So here's a this is the plugin right here, but I already did already. So I'm not gonna install. But once you install it, you wanna check, go to plugins manager, and look for shadow box right there. So you wanna make sure it's enabled right here with a check. Once that's enabled, you are good to go. So how do we actually get this to work? There's a uh, different um, modes that you can get they have the demo which you can check out and as you can see there's different links where you put on your website uh, using images uh, as you can see if I click on this image it pops up the background kind of darkens and here comes the image and you can actually fast forward a little bit to the next one uh, if it's a large image as you can see the image gets larger uh, but what I was more concerned was how to use YouTube movies uh, and put it on Joomla using a shadow box. So, for example, this guy here with a guitar, you know, I can click on him and it shows him playing automatically. So, that's the whole point of this video. So, how do we get this? I couldn't really figure it out. So, what I did was because they had given us some uh, documentation on how to do this, if you click on uh, right here, on shadow box view shadow box media documentation it kind of pops up uh, and you can see the right down here they kind of show you how to install it parameters you gotta make sure you check all this actually and they give you basically the instructions but when I try to use this especially for the video this is more for images and that's actually pretty straightforward the video is a little more confusing and I couldn't figure it out um, so what I did was I went ahead and tried to decipher what code exactly do I want to use for the video. So what I did actually on this site 
was uh, I checked the source which is the source a lot of stuff but you don't have to do this and I look for the source and this is basically the source they use exactly for the video because I couldn't just figure it out so now let's go back to our site this is our site and you can click virtually in any of these links and the video start working so how did I get this to work I went back to my backhand I went back to my then I went to because it's on my front page of our website click on front page manager uh, kind of checked in here and this is basically what we have on the front page uh, a little picture in here the sample video so the first thing I did was I click on toggle editor if you click on that you get this whole junk of our HTML codes I uh, already copied and pasted this this is a lot because I already merged it but let's try uh, a single one so I copied it from the source and you can actually use this source right here this is actually the the source that I picked up the Ebon coast that guy with the guitar uh, that's the source I used but for you to be able to use YouTube to actually play on your website, it actually takes a little bit of skill. And um, so let me run you through the code. Uh, see, this is the table. Uh, it's a relative, and that's the shadow box. Uh, the width is uh, 405. That would be the size. The height is like 340. The player is going to be a flash player, so that's SWF. And the title, this is where you get to change the title. So let's change the title to uh, a video we're gonna use on YouTube so I'm gonna change that title to the clotting cascade okay so I change the title I can change the height and the width of the player let's, ch let's change that this has 340 let's make that 540 uh, and let's make this uh, 605 I just kinda increased by 200 now the H the reference where the link to the video exactly is this is the link where the guy had originally so you can see the YouTube then you get a few uh, uh, letters here and uh, actually the link stops right right where my icon is right here the cursor and the HL which is EN, EN and AMP uh, the frame is one AMP is relatively zero uh, the keys this extra stuff here in front here is what determines the video is gonna play automatically so I want you to keep an eye on that so let's go to YouTube and I already have a video uh, placed out. Uh, the first thing is we need to get the link for this for this video. Now the problem is if you use this link, it will never work. It will never work. You would put it on your site. And let's try that. Let's let's try to put this link in that. Uh, let's try to put it right in here. <clears throat> see, I'm gonna try to copy this and see. Like I told you, it stops right by the amp. So Actually, let's start place that in there and this is where the my link is so we're gonna come back and take a look at it uh, the image source see right here it says image source now the only way I can get the image source for this is actually by editing this video and I can go to video thumbnail and I can just copy one of these. You right click on it and say copy image location and it actually copies the link and uh, where is this? Right here and we come down here which is image source and just paste that in there and if you already have a link for your, an image source you already created uh, so it kind of makes it look even much longer but basically what I've added so far is the image source added a title and the link we're hoping it works right? but it's not going to work I told you guys so let's see uh, let me take this out because this was already uh, there before. So this one at the bottom, that's what we care about. So let's uh, try to apply that. And let's go to the home page. And I'm going to refresh this page. It takes a little while. And if we scroll down, here's the new video, right? See, the thumbnail is correct, as we can see it. If I click on this, it doesn't work it's not going to load and that's the most frustrating because YouTube doesn't give this is a new uh, line used by YouTube so it never worked frustrating is this guy's work because it took me a while to figure them out as you can see the other links work alright so now let's go back and re-edit that code and get the right code so what you actually do is 
you go back to this and you click on share once you click on share don't use this link it's not gonna work I tried it again so what you do is you click on embed and the embed now gives you the old YouTube code that's what you need that's actually what actually works nothing else works so you can change the size uh, we can pick 640 by uh, 360 so the whole point is see you have all this right object blah 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 you don't need all that the only thing you need is from the value right there so we're gonna go to value and we're gonna just try to copy that so I'm gonna copy all that up oh, CC is relative equals to zero that's all you need you right click and you copy that it's already copied it now let's go back and go to toggle editor now the problem is everything's kind of mushed here so I have to actually bring this down so you guys can see that's actually where the code begins see this is the old code I used so what do you do remember it's gonna end right before the HL right there and I'm gonna put in the new code which makes it really really long however that's the only thing that actually really works so the whole point is this way is relative equals to zero you get a semicolon and then you get the rest of this extra junk which is gonna give you what the um, actually I think I might copy it more so actually I have to take this all piece out which is so be careful this I kinda of repeated it so I'm taking all that part out let's just make sure we have the right code because if you miss just one code here it's actually not gonna work so relative zero and amp okay good so that's what you want so you can see here I have another couple here see that's my ref video youtube.com blah, blah 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 the version and an amp dot zero then relative equals to zero then the rest see and after the zero you've got an amp so I gotta delete that okay I know it sounds a little bit confusing but so now I've got the code and now let's save let's apply that go back to the home page refresh um, takes a while to load and let's click and see if it works and there you go hello everybody how you doing today? Uh, this is Adelike again, um, co-founder of Future Teaching Physicians. Today we're going to be talking about the cloud. So, how did I get this to align? Just extra information. Uh, what I actually did was, um, I scroll down here, click on this image, and there's this little icon here, direction left to right. If you click on that, you actually make the object movable, and now I can just shove it right in there. And now it joins the rest of the group. So, what do we want to make sure we know here? Uh, the key thing is you want to go back and when you copy, you copy everything up to the relative equals to zero. This is the code you can only use that's going to work. The old, old YouTube. Um, when you use your um, when you use your HTML editor, which everything is kind of like jumbled up now. See where it says? That's where it begins. That's where the code begins. Okay, I can actually bring it down so you guys can see. The reference is going to go all the way up to relative zero, and you want to add the rest of this so that it can auto play. That's the whole point. So, like I told you earlier on, I went to their website here, and I stole, you know, I had, basically I didn't steal the code, but I had to check what the source code was. And the guy that's the Ebon sees the shadow width, the height, the title, that's the reference. And the whole point is, see, stops are relative equals to zero. You need the rest of this and to autoplay. That's what you need because if you don't get that, it's not going to work. And I just told you already how you get the image source. So that's how you get Joomla to work. Let's see here. That's how you get Joomla to work. And, um, uh, if you guys have any questions, you could just leave any comments and let's save that. 
can go back to our website refresh it and we can scroll down and I'll click on this link and the video is working hello everybody how you doing today okay uh, this is Adeline. thanks for watching uh, again this is future teaching physicians online program uh, we do videos for medical students nursing students pharmacy physical therapy our videos are all over YouTube you can go to our channel you can check us out on Facebook and uh, there's a lot of tons of resources on our websites uh, that can help you in your education we make great lectures and this sample video is actually extremely helpful and very uh, great uh, check out www.youtube.com slash 007 for more details uh, have a nice day bye bye